how to prevent heat damage on your hair. Now, this is a topic that's very, very popular. I've done videos about this in the past, but I just wanted to revisit this here in 2023. So how do you prevent damaging your hair? And a lot of people, the first thing that comes to mind is they're afraid of using a blow dryer. So if you don't know, I have a blow dryer that I invested in the advanced technology of making it ionic, which actually helps to prevent damaging your hair um, because of the whole ions and negative and positive. It actually seeks out the negative, makes them positive. So it helps dry the hair quicker and it helps prevent, you know, damaging your hair to an extent because if you're using the blow dryer improperly, that could cause more damage no matter what. But I do have a blow dryer that I actually have been using blow dryers for 28 years or so that I've been in the business and I've learned what actually does damage and fry the hair because of the heat. And it's simply when you are letting the hair be melted from the heat of the blow dryer, meaning you're holding the blow dryer in one section for way too long, you're seeing smoke start to happen and your hair is super, super hot. And over time, maybe you're using hairspray on it and you're just singeing the hair, literally singeing it by over blow drying it and using, you know, um, hair products or hairsprays directly on it while you're blow drying it. Yes, it may make it stay still and give you that hold, but that's how you're damaging your hair from the heat. So you have to be really, really careful. And if you watch my videos, you'll see how I actually go in and blow dry the hair where I, I'm constantly moving the blow dryer and the nozzle with the brush. So it's kind of always going in sync. And I learned that many, many years ago when I was working for Paul Mitchell is always keep the nozzle of the blow dryer and the brush, keep them like, like they're attached, like they're a train, they're attached together and they're inseparable. So you use that properly, that technique, and it's gonna help you prevent heat damage to your hair. It's just something I've experienced and I've seen hands-on as a professional. I'm not pulling this off out of nowhere, okay? I, this is from hands-on experience over many, many years. All right, the next thing is to be careful when you're using like a curling iron or a smoothing iron, a straightening iron, that you are not overdoing it or over straightening it or leaving the hair wrapped around the iron for way too long. So there's something that I learned years ago called the one pass. When you're using a straightening iron or a smoothing iron or a flat iron, I like to use smooth because I'd rather have smooth hair than flat hair. I learned that years ago too. So when you're using the smoothing iron, you want to take the hair with the comb and just, while it's fully dry, and just do one nice consistent uh, pass through the hair, maybe two. But when people start doing, you know, one and then two, three, three or four, five, six passes with the, with the smoothing iron or the, the flat iron, what happens is you're just singeing the hair over and over and over again. You have to be really careful, especially if your hair is color treated or if you're, you know, doing a lot of highlights or what I, what I end up calling fry lights because you're frying your hair, you're frying those highlights. You have to be really, really careful with that heat because it's so hot that the more you keep singeing that hair, it's just going to create a lot of breakage. The ends are going to get real crumbled and dry. And it's something that you really, really have to be uh, careful of doing. So in general, it really comes down to common sense. When you're using really, really hot tools, just think about something like when you're cooking, right? You don't want to over bake something because guess what? You'll burn it. It's the same thing with hair. You have to, you know, I would say be more cautious and use maybe less heat or use it properly and don't overcook your hair because a lot of times that ends up causing damage. So don't be afraid of the blow dryer. Don't be afraid of the hot tools, but just make sure you are using them properly. If you are interested in checking out my blow dryer or the brushes I have, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.theslongguy.com.